As you know, batteries are a critical part of the boating experience. So you want to make sure you have yours in the best shape possible when the season starts. First thing you want to do after you take your battery out of storage, whether you had it down in the basement or in the shop, or even if you left it on your boat for the winter, which a lot of people do, including myself from time to time, is to uh, give it a thorough cleaning. I like to clean the housing, just shoot it down with a little spray of, uh, of WD-40 or some other kind of cleaner, and just clean it up, get rid of all the residual dust and dirt that might have built up on it over the winter. Next thing you want to do is uh, tackle cleaning the terminal posts. You can get yourself a uh, terminal post cleaner like this one at West Marine or an automotive supply shop, or you can simply use a stiff wire brush just rub it around on the edges of the terminal or if using the terminal post cleaner just kind of work it around in a circular motion and it gets uh, gets all the the, the uh, corrosion and rust and, and dirt away from uh, out from between the threads of the battery. Next thing you want to do is uh, check the battery electrolyte levels. Uh, this is uh, obviously you only do this with uh, your typical uh, standard lead acid type batteries you don't mess around with opening up a battery if it's a uh, an AGM or a gel cell battery. The other thing you want to remember to do is to wear a pair of these, a pair of safety goggles, because you don't want any of that stuff splashing up, hitting your, hitting your eyes. This uh, particular battery makes it very easy to check the, uh, the electrolyte level. Uh, it has uh, twist off uh, caps. Just screw off each, uh, unscrew each one, take a look inside with a bat maybe a little, a little flashlight and make sure that the uh, distilled water is covering the, um, the, the, the lead plates of the battery. Do that for each port. Make sure everything's topped up uh, nice and full. And then you're ready to do the next stage, which is to uh, charge up the battery. Make sure it's charged up by using a uh, three-stage charger, not one of uh, an older trickle charger, which can actually overheat the battery and cause a lot of the, and cause some damage. But uh, with a three-stage charger, uh, basically, it will, uh, you can leave it overnight, and it will, uh, will, will slowly top off the batteries and then keep it at a, at a, at a certain level. Uh, and then you come in the morning, and you'll be all set to go. Get yourself uh, a, a, a voltmeter and check the, uh, check the voltage on your batteries. Make sure that they're, uh, they're giving you a good uh, volt uh, reading. Make sure the battery has uh, got a nice, good charge. Should be reading about 13.25 or higher. And uh, come back and check it uh, after uh, a day and make sure it's still holding that charge. Uh, very important. If it's not holding a charge, then you've got a problem with the battery and uh, you should think about uh, replacing it. Uh, the uh, next step is to coat the terminal posts with some sort of uh, grease. You dielectric uh, silicone compound in an automotive store or at uh, a boating supply store or you can simply use uh, petroleum jelly it's a cheaper solution and it seems to, to work all right for me so basically you, you want to take a little bit of that just rub it around on the terminal post and that'll, that'll prevent uh, cor you know keep corrosion uh, from uh, from forming on that on that terminal on the terminal post and uh, cable connections over the season now, one other item you might want to consider carrying with you, especially if your batteries are on the old side, uh, is one of these. This is a, a, a battery jump starter. And uh, believe me, uh, this has come in handy with uh, a lot of my friends who do a lot of boating. And the last thing you want to do is get to your boat, row all the way out to your mooring, or get to the launch ramp and uh, be faced with a dead battery, and you have to go all the way back home and, and, and get a new battery. This can really save the day. So that's it for Battery Maintenance 101. Hopefully your batteries are in great shape for this season uh, and ready to go. Hopefully it's been informative and I'll see you on the water.